Welcome. Welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. We're going to take a look at the city of Chandler today because you seem to hear us talk about it a lot. Probably my fault because I moved there in 1996. I don't live in Chandler now, but my my boys all grew up there and went to uh, junior high or grade school, junior high and high school. Uh, so that's what I called home. Now, where is Chandler? Let me show you on the map here. This is uh, the Chandler boundary. You can see it's kind of uh, kind of screwy, but in relationship to downtown Phoenix, this is where Chandler is. Here's downtown Phoenix. You have Scottsdale up here. You hear us talk about that quite a bit. And you have the State Farm Stadium where the Cardinals play way out here. This is Tempe, Tempe Town Lake, butts up against Chandler. Then you have Gilbert. And then you have Mesa, which gets is also another confusing um, boundary as far as the city. And then you have Queen Creek down here, Santan over there. And further south, you have the city of Maricopa, and Maricopa is down here. Commuting from Maricopa, and we're going to get to talking about Chandler here in just a moment, but commuting from Maricopa to Chandler is limited to this one road, the 147. And it's only got two lanes on each side. Now, they're talking about building another spur that takes you out to Interstate 10 this way, but it's going to be a while before it's done. So if you're looking at purchasing in Maricopa and then driving to Phoenix or Chandler, um, well, it's not very many miles. There's only two lanes on each side. The city of Maricopa has grown quite a bit. That commute gets kind of tough, especially going home. So think about that when you're thinking about Maricopa because the prices are better. It's one of those things called drive till you qualify. Now, when you look in the city of Chandler, it's it's pretty diverse. Um, I moved to Ocotillo when I came here, and that's where you see all of this water here. My home was right about, I want to say here. And all this, this is the Ocotillo Golf Course, like 27 miles of, or 27 holes. Um, and about 27 miles of water. Now, the water in Ocotillo is all part of Chandler's reclamation project. So, in other words, the water goes through a certain process of breaking it down to put it back on the aquifers. And then it goes into these areas here for the sun to break it down further before it gets sent back in for another process. The other place where water is used a lot is our Intel campus right here. And Intel, according to the person that I talked to that manages the water of Chandler, he said they don't use water, they borrow it. So the water gets sent to Intel, purified. They take everything out of it and they use it to cut chips. Then they pure, clean it out again and then shoot it back down into uh, Chandler's water supply. So he said we get it back cleaner than when we delivered it. So they're very happy to let Intel use the water. The Intel plant or the Taiwan chip plant up in North Phoenix has not built their water treatment plant yet, but I'm told it's on the drawing board. Now, where is Chandler relationship to how the heck do you commute out of Chandler? Then I'm going to talk a little bit about a couple different neighborhoods. Um, there's a couple airports here. So you got to be aware of flight noise and these are just small airplanes so the airports right here noise around fox crossing i've even seen them cross sun lakes uh you can't get away from it but it's not you know a 747 so it's not going to be as noisy as you will if you get out by mesa gateway now and that airport's going like crazy so commute wise uh let's go back to where where i was living and if i wanted to get up because my office uh, when I moved here was on Interstate 10 and Chandler Boulevard. And so I was able to, I worked right here. And that's why I chose Chandler. Actually, it was right here because I didn't want a long commute anymore. So this turned out to be pretty easy. I was able to take Queen Creek Road and head on over to Interstate 10, buzz up right here and get to the office. Since then, They've added the 202. So you can go up Alma School Road, which is this road here, get on the 202, head east out towards East Mesa, or the 202 towards downtown. It'll go to the 10, 
can intersect with that. Or the 202 now goes all the way west and intersects with Interstate 10 out here. So you can bypass downtown going on the new 202. So you can get on there and go all the way. If you're going to go to the Cardinal Stadium, that's the way to go. So you don't have to go up Interstate 10 and go through downtown. You can take the 202. We also have the 303 and the 101. Now, the 101 is a road that's been here quite a long time. Um, but it wasn't there when I moved here. And that's how you can go to get to Scottsdale. And so it's a pretty quick jaunt to get up to Scottsdale. And you can also take the 101 up through Scottsdale. And it loops around. Once again, helps you avoid downtown Phoenix. And you can head to Interstate 17 and go to Flagstaff or Sedona or to Prescott. So very convenient spot if you're looking for a place where your commute is not that tough. You will have traffic going into downtown. There's no getting rid of that. Uh, but a lot of people are moving way out east on the 60. Out here, they are expanding the lanes and repaving. Uh, but that commute's pretty rough as well the further out you get here going into downtown Phoenix. There's a very popular school district. There's a couple of them, Chandler Unified Schools, which is very good down here in Chandler. But one of the most popular ones is Kyrene School District, and which is up in West Chandler, up by the other Intel plant that we have. And that zip code pretty much resides right around here. And so anything that's listed in 85226 for families tends to go pretty quick. They're not brand new homes. They're established homes built in the uh, mid nineties. And, uh, and they're mostly three bedroom, two and a half bath, four, some five bedrooms. Uh, but that's a very popular neighborhood primarily for the school district. And again, it's a close commute. Now, if we take a look at downtown Chandler, um, downtown Chandler is on what's called the 87 or um, Arizona Avenue. It looks like a freeway on a map, but it's not. It's just a rural road. 87 Avenue turns into um, um, Country Club Road when it gets north of the 60. But downtown Chandler has the San Marcos Resort, the history, historical San Marcos Resort, and the golf course right there. But if you go to downtown, you can see it's pretty bustling. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Um, there's the San Marcos right here. Um, this is a brand new development right here with new restaurants, a big movie theater. This off to the right has yet to be developed. There's some condominiums over here, city hall down here. And in the downtown area, this is where they have a lot of uh, uh, entertainment out here in the Chandler city park. And then the farmer's market is held down here on Saturdays in downtown Chandler. So you've got crown plaza right there, Santan brewing, there's another restaurant over here. This is a big restaurant row right downtown Chandler. Park here, or they have a free parking garage on the other side right here. And these are restaurants. These are all within walking distance. There's a high-quality steakhouse down here, Pexto Coffee Roasters. So there's a lot to do in downtown Chandler, and it's getting bigger all the time. And here's Chandler City Hall. North of downtown is the um, Chandler High School right here. And this is our Chandler Performing Arts Center where you can see a lot of good shows all year. So downtown Chandler is, is very, very entertaining. Like I showed you on the map earlier, it's kind of hard to understand the actual boundaries for Chandler. They're really kind of screwy. Down here south of Chandler is our over 55 area called Sun Lakes. And yet in Chandler, this is also an over 55 area, but it's called Chandler. <laughs> so um, don't spend a lot of time trying to figure out the boundaries here. Over in southeast Chandler, which is really close to downtown, is where the neighborhood's pretty old and run down. I could show you on Google Earth here. Um, this area right here, you can see, is pretty dilapidated. Um, a lot of investors are coming in and trying to scoop up homes in this area, and that may see some revitalization. This is a great big apartment complex here, uh, but there isn't a lot of rebuilding or remodeling going on there now. So it's pretty, uh, it's pretty worn out. You cross the street, this area over here kind of speaks the same way. 
Uh, but then if you get up north um, to, there's a nice neighborhood where I'm seeing a lot of rebuilding going on. And that is if you go up between Chandler Boulevard and, well, there's Chandler Boulevard. So I want to go up farther between Alma School Road and Country Club Road. Make sure I find the right spot here on the map. Yeah, between Warner, Elliott. So these neighborhoods right here, um, this is mobile homes. But this, these neighborhoods right here, there's a lot of rebuilding, a lot of remodeling going on here. And these are custom-built homes, older ones, built in the 60s, early 70s. And there's a lot of, uh, a lot of building going on as far as going out and ripping things out and rebuilding them. And you can find something pretty cool in there. There's no HOA. If you're not looking for an HOA, that's your place. And uh, there's a Costco nearby. So that area is pretty popular as well. The school district is not as popular as... Kyrene School District or Chandler Unified down south. So there is a lot more to explore in Chandler. Um, when you get down into the other parts, this is a neighborhood here where, let me make sure I show this here. This is one of the only neighborhoods where it's actual fresh water. Um, it's not the reclaimed water that you see here in Ocotillo. This is the only one that's actually got fresh water. Just to the west of Chandler is all Indian Reservation right here. So there isn't anything you're going to see being built out here. This little airport that you see here, which is called, oh, this is not an airport. This is Firebird Motorsport Park. This is a big boat racing park there. And they also have a drag racing track. You don't hear any of that when you live down here. But this, nothing's going to be built out here. That's all Indian Reservation. You also run into Awatuki, which is considered Phoenix South Mountain over here. And uh, they butt up against Indian Reservation too. So when they wanted to build the 202 here, they had to get permission from the Indian Reservation, a lot of negotiations to get this put through. The 202 has been one of the nicest additions coming into uh, the area here because you get the bypass going through downtown. So you used to have to go up to 10 and then go through downtown Phoenix to get to the 10. So you had to go kind of past the airport here. And uh, it was just a grunt. This was a hard commute right here. But now you go around South Mountain, you've shaved off a good 15, 20 minutes in your commute if you're headed this way to Los Angeles. And if you get down to Interstate 8, which is further south, that shoots you right into San Diego after about five and a half hours. So that's where Chandler is located. You can just see it's just south of Tempe. It's just west of Gilbert and Queen Creek and Mesa, just a little southwest of Mesa and south of Phoenix by about 20 minutes as the crow flies and sometimes not how traffic happens on Interstate 10. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at rick, rickhelps.com.